trust me when I say it, Safari is definitely one of the most used application on my iPhone. In fact, if you have an iPhone, you don't even need to install Google Chrome or even Microsoft Edge. Safari is more than enough. So in this video, let's check out some tips and tricks that will help you to use Safari on your iPhone like a pro. So as you can see, we have opened iGeeksBlog.com on Safari. As you can see, you might be very familiar with the UI. You get a lot of options on the bottom and the very first tip is related to these buttons only. So if you would tap on any of them, it would perform the actions that is meant to do. Like for example, if you would tap on back option, it will take you a web page backward. But what a lot of people are not aware of is that if you would long press on almost any of the button that is present in Safari, it will show you a lot of options. So for example, if I will long press on this back option, as you can see, I do get options to visit any of the web page that I visited previously. And similarly, if I will long press on forward, it will show me all the web pages that are put forward that I have just recently visited. As of now, long pressing on the share button doesn't perform any specific action. But other than that, if you would long press on this bookmark icon, you get options to add bookmark for three tabs, the tabs that are open in the background right now. Uh, you can also add this specific web page as bookmark or even add it to reading list. Similarly, if you would long press on the tabs button, you will get a lot of options. First of all, as you can see, these are all the tab groups that I've created. And other than that, you also get option to create a new tab that is a private tab right from this button. If you want, you can close all three tabs that are open in the background. You can move this tab to the specific group. So you can just tab on any tab group that you have created and this particular web page will be added to that particular tab group. Similarly, if you're visiting any web page and you would go to this tabs menu, you can also long press on plus icon and also long press on this tab icon to explore more options. Second and a very handy feature that I think a lot of multitaskers are going to love is swiping. So instead of having to go to this tab menu and then opening the second tab, you can simply swipe on the address bar in order to visit the other web page. This might look like a very basic tip to you, but if you're working on multiple web pages, as you can see, I have opened a lot of web pages. So just swiping on the address bar can help me to save a lot of time. Third tip on the list is related to reader's mode. So if you are fond of reading and you like to read articles on your iPhone, I have a great feature for you that is built in Safari. So uh, if you want to avoid these advertisements that you see on literally every web page, all you have to do is just tap on this AA icon and then tap on show reader. And just like that, all the ads and all the disturbances will be removed from your web page and you will be left with the crisp content. And if you're somebody who loves to read on their iPhone, then you can turn on readers view by default for any website. And in order to do that, you have to go to settings, tap on Safari, scroll down to the bottom, tap on reader, and you will get option to automatically use reader by default. Just tap on it and any web page that you will open will automatically open in the reader's view. And in case you don't want any specific web page to open in reader view, just tap on this icon and turn off reader. Just like that. So let me tell you a very crazy hack in Safari if you have updated your iPhone to iOS 16. So as you might be already aware that iOS 16 lets you do this. You can uh, copy a subject from any photo and paste it literally anywhere you want. Uh, now you can use a very similar feature in Safari as well. All you have to do is long press on any picture inside of Safari and tap on copy subject. And that's it. You can literally paste this image anywhere, even if it's Instagram stories. Trust me, I've tried and tested it out. And these same steps remind me of yet another trick that is related to images inside of Safari. For example, if you long press on the image, you can copy and select any text that you can see is written inside of the image. Yes, live text works inside of Safari as well. As you can see, I have zoomed into this image and I have copied all the text that is written inside of this dynamic island uh, advertisements and I am now pasting it on my notes app. Yet another trick that will definitely help you out if you are using Safari on a regular day to day basis. For example, if you are visiting a lot of uh, web pages simultaneously and you've lost track of a specific web page. So instead of having to go back and forth and literally opening each and every web page that you are visiting right now, all you have to do is just open the tabs page, scroll down and 
boom you now have options to search for tab and if i would type iphone for example safari will only show me tabs that have iphones in their title for example this one safari in ios 16 also introduced a cute little change the change of position of address bar so earlier it was placed on the top but now as you can see it is placed on the bottom and if for some reason you're not happy with this change you can go back to default and in order to do that all you have to do is just tap on aa icon and now you can tap on show address bar and as you can see address bar has moved to the top but anyways if you don't want to use safari with its address bar move towards the top i have a toggle for you that will make your safari look a little more interesting so all you have to do is just go into settings scroll down and now tap on safari scroll down a little and toggle on for allow website tinting now whenever you will open safari as you can see your iPhone has added a tint from web page to this notch area and in my opinion it looks lot more appealing. As you can see this is the web page before and this is the same web page after. Apart from this there is one more trick that you can use in order to customize your safari a little. So just open a new tab, scroll to the very bottom, tap on edit and here you get options to toggle on for any menu on your start screen. For example, if I don't want to see frequently visited web pages and series suggestions, I can just toggle them on. Also, if I want to see iCloud tabs on the top, I can just rearrange the order. And if I want, I can also change the start screen's background. How cool is that? And last trick of this video is visual lookup. So I, I am not sure how Apple did it, but if you would long press on any picture, a picture that has a subject that uh, Siri is able to define, first of all, but if you would long press on this picture and you would tap on lookup, Siri will get to work and it will share all its knowledge about the subject that is inside of that picture. So as you can see, I have all the details about this cute little dog in the picture and it works on a lot of flora and fauna. So for example, if I were to search for a palm tree, oops, palm tree. And now as you can see, I have options to copy subject if I want. And also I have option to look up. Siri will get to work and it will tell me about all the details that it has about this coconut tree. Alright, so that is it for this one. Do let me know what are your thoughts about this one. If you liked what you watched, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button and make sure you press the bell icon as well. And while you're doing all of this stuff, make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store in case you want to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me, I'm signing off and I'll see you in the next one.